Minecraft is one of the fastest growing games out there and it's no wonder that it has some pretty fast features. There are some absurdly fast things in Minecraft, so obviously this begs the question, just how fast can Minecraft get? Join me as we take a look through some of the weirdest and wildest fast things in the entire game. I hope you enjoy, please consider subscribing, and let's get straight into it. Mobs in Minecraft are a staple of the game. From the iconic creeper to the terrifying new warden, there are tons of different monsters all over Minecraft. One mob that you may think is very quick is the witch, which has a chance to drink a swiftness potion when its target is more than 11 blocks away. Oh wait, wait, you thought that was a fast mob? This is a fast mob. Look at this wandering trader go. In 1.14, there was a glitch that once you traded with a wandering trader, it would begin to zoom around at sonic speeds for seemingly no reason. But why? What on earth is causing this glitch? Well, the answer is strange and unconfirmed. Just like regular villagers feel the need to run to bed when it gets dark, or run to their workstations to get a job, wandering traders also have a location they have to get to. But it works a little bit differently. The wandering traders code stores a value called wander target, which is a randomly chosen location that the wandering trader has to reach. This is maybe to create the effect that it will wander around randomly. So whenever you trade with it, it gets a new target that it has to walk to. Simple enough. But what if it can't get there? If the wandering target accidentally chooses a location that the wandering trader can't really reach, then it begins to panic. That's why in places like super flat worlds or locations where you have your own structures, there can be places that the wandering trader just can't reach that are chosen by its wander target. For example, if the target chooses this block, the trader won't be able to get there, and as a result, it will begin to panic and just run around frantically. This is, in my opinion, really funny and reminds me of myself when I can't find a toilet. But are there faster mobs? Absolutely yes. This may be the funniest example, but it certainly isn't the fastest. One of the legitimately fastest mobs in the whole game is the dolphin. While you usually don't see them going that fast on their own, if you hop in with them and get the dolphin's grace effect, they'll try to swim alongside you, causing them to up their speed to over 10 blocks every second trying to keep up. Very wholesome and very fast. But what about mobs that you can use on land? Horses also have the potential to be very, very fast and very, very slow. When a horse spawns in Minecraft, it's assigned a random speed value. The range of these values is a bit weird, anywhere from 0.1125 to 0.3375. Horses usually generate somewhere in between, which results in an average speed of 9 blocks per second. But if you're lucky enough to find a horse on the further end of the spectrum, you could be looking at a maximum of 14.23 blocks per second. That is a very, very fast horse. You can increase this further by applying a speed 2 potion, which bumps up this already insane number to 19.92 blocks per second, nearly 20 every second. But who needs a horse on land when you can get a sonic horse in lava? When you think of striders, you probably don't think fast. They're mediocre in lava if you hold the fungus on a stick and painfully slow on land. And they look kind of sad too. However, there was a bug in several snapshots that when you had a strider parallel to a flat wall, you would zoom. These things are now insanely fast and a very, very good way to travel. As for why on earth this bug occurred, I do not have a good explanation. I really have no idea why this writer does this, and unlike the wandering trader, I have no clue if there's a data tag that maybe is responsible for this odd behavior. But the fastest mob isn't a strider. No, no, no. It's a llama. A llama? How is it a llama? Do they have some weird bugs as well? Not at all. 
One of the fastest ways to travel in Minecraft is to take an insane amount of knockback and fly hundreds if not thousands of blocks in a second. But how the hell do you do that? With the use of Ravagers. Ravagers are terrifying mobs and some of the strongest in the entire game. But they have one weird feature that can be exploited to travel thousands of blocks in a second. If you block an attack from a Ravager with your shield, you have a chance to stun it, after which it will buffer for a second and maybe let out a roar. This roar doesn't do too much if you're in front of the Ravager, maybe some measly knockback. However, entities just above its center will take absolutely huge knockback the closer they are to its body. So, if you're to tame a llama and place it on a carpet atop your Ravager, you can then stun the big fella with your shield, hop onto the llama, and then travel thousands of blocks in seconds as the llama is BAM blasted into the stratosphere. Definitely one of the coolest and weirdest ways to travel. Not to mention, very, very fast. Technically, you can argue that the Endermen is the fastest mob since they can teleport, traveling any distance in a split millisecond. However, something that can be even faster than the Endermen is how fast you can click the subscribe button. A large percent of my audience watching these videos isn't actually subscribed, so if you find that you aren't, I would really, really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds and helps out the channel tremendously at no cost to you. I upload only once per week, so I promise I won't spam your sub box, and again, it helps out a ton. So thank you so much, and let's get back into it. World records are very impressive and very, very fast. As of recording this, the current RSG world record for 1.16 is 11 minutes and 50 seconds by FE666. If you don't know how impressive that is, RSG means random seed glitchless. So FE666 had to generate a random world without knowing anything about it, and then try to beat the game as fast as possible. And he did so in under 12 minutes. That's nuts. But RSG isn't the only world record category. SSG, or Set Seed Glitchless, is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. A pre-discovered seed optimized to give you the best possible run. The world record for this category is also incredible. 2 minutes and 10 seconds to beat the game. Again, I'm at a loss for words, that's nuts. But the rabbit hole goes even deeper because beating the game isn't the only speedrunning category. There are a whole bunch of weird and random world records, anything from defeating a complete raid, to getting a stack of lime wool, to mining out a complete chunk. Why? I have no clue, but the records for these are still getting faster and faster. Now, obviously there is a massive elephant in the room, and that is player transportation. How fast can you, the player, move? Let's answer that. There are really a ton of ways to increase your speed in Minecraft, so let's work our way up. A basic speed 2 potion increases your speed on the ground by 40%, which is not bad, but we can do so, so much better. Combining Dolphin's Grace with Depth Strider 3 with Soul Speed 3 and you get one of the absolute fastest ways to travel in water. You can zoom around pretty much any body of water, granted it has to have soul still at the bottom, at super fast speeds. It is nuts. You can take this to the extreme by hopping back into a few older snapshots. At the time, there was no friction with soul speed, so your speed would just keep getting bigger and bigger and you would keep accelerating. Eventually though, evening out at, you know, nothing that high. 700,000 blocks per second? Il Mango showcases this in a great video which you should definitely check out, it's so so cool and so so funny. Speaking of water travel though, why use a boat on water when you can use it on ice? With a boat on the surface of blue ice, you shoot across at 70 blocks per second, one of the funnest and fastest ways to travel in the whole game. But even this can be one-upped by traveling through the skies with an elytra. Flying on an elytra can be super fast, but it really depends on the angle that you sail at. 
If you fly directly forward or zero degrees, you'll travel at a measly 30 blocks per second. However, if you then slip over to 52 degrees, you'll be traveling at just shy of 69. Nice. To get the best of out of your elytra though, you have to glide somewhere between 1 and 5 degrees. To understand why this is, there's a bit of basic math involved if you think of your velocity as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, it already sounds bad, I promise I'll keep it short. Using basic trigonometry to find the x and y velocity is obtained as a result of your angle and accounting for the force of gravity on your player, you can calculate the most efficient way to fly is around 1 to 4 degrees. This angle maximizes your horizontal shift relative to your downward shift. In simpler terms, it's the most blocks you can travel forward for the least blocks travel downwards. Now technically, if you want to have the fastest possible speed on your elytra, you have to transfer all your motion vertically and point straight down. With the aid of gravity, you'll be traveling at a sonic 80 blocks per second. Although, at that point, that's just accelerated plummeting. Now, before we get to the absolute fastest speed you can travel, let's quickly take a look at some slower things. The turtle is without question the slowest mob in the game, and we can use it to make ourselves even slower. If you cover blue ice with cobwebs, crouch and drink a potion of the enhanced turtle master to get slowness 6, you physically can't move. Try as you might, it is impossible to go forward. The slowest method of transport which actually allows you to move is the exact same thing, but with a shield instead of a Turtle Master potion. In this case, you'd be traveling at 0.007 blocks per second, which means to get to the end of a 5 block tunnel would take just under 12 minutes, and that sounds terrible. I highly recommend checking out Ray's works video on the subject if you want more information. It's a great video, and I think you'll enjoy it if you enjoy this one. But without further ado, the absolute fastest way to travel, a whopping 1.76 million blocks per second, the Ender Pearl Cannon. Simply titled End Cannon, something you may not know unless you watch Sipover is the trajectory of Ender Pearls can be altered by the use of TNT, kind of like bouncing them. This intricate example of human ingenuity exploits just that, and piles up a bunch of TNT to cannoneer Pearl across the entire universe. It is extraordinarily fast and extraordinarily cool. Oh well, technically it's only the second fastest way to travel. By dying, I can travel from each world border to the other in mere seconds. But that's not nearly as cool. But with that said, that is how fast Minecraft can get. I hope you've enjoyed, and please do consider subscribing. It would help out a ton, and as always, peace out, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching.